Hello customers and welcome to today's guided walkthrough of our 2016 Audi A3. My name's Jesse, I'm a Perth marriage celebrant and spokesperson for Melville Hyundai here along Leach Highway. We hope you enjoy our tour, let's get stuck into it. We can start off with a front fold view while I list off the car's key features. Packed inside we have ABS, power steering, power windows, central locking, Bluetooth and USB connectivity, alloy wheels, fingers crossed we can cover the remaining features on this vehicle in the short amount of time that we have. And first up I want to touch on the presentation. It looks absolutely brilliant because the detailing team here at this yard does a wonderful job on all of our cars. If you like the appearance now, just wait until you buy it. They're going to bring everything about the car up to speed. You're going to think it was a 2021 model. Okay, next up let's it's time for us to dive into some features. Chrome finishes along the front. The presentation is a feature in itself, okay? Headlights, we do have the automatic feature. We have level adjustment. You can change the angle that your headlights are facing. They also have these large rectangular um, parts here. They're headlamp washers, so they're gonna come forward, spray up a bit of water there and clean off your headlights. The car has copped a little bit of a, a, little bit of a bump uh, just here against the headlights, so be mindful of that. Uh, but aside from that, guys, that's pretty much it for the front. We do have some parking sensors as well. I should be sure to mention that. Time now for us to go down the left hand side and first up we're going to introduce you to our 16 inch alloy rims. A little bit of a scuff on the bottom left corner there. Let's continue down now. Our side mirrors have an indication light, a plastic guard beneath, any debris flicking up, no problem. It does have the heated feature as well so it's not going to fog up in a cold environment. Continuing down, we do have some window tint supplied, okay, less sunlight, UV, and a bit of privacy to any valuables you have inside the car. Taking you down to your door handles, this does have the keyless entry feature. So as long as the fog of the vehicle is within range, put your thumb over this sensor, um, hopefully you can see that, it is quite camouflaged in there, but uh, that'll just simply lock and unlock your vehicle. It's so convenient, if you haven't used it before, you're gonna love it. Okay, continuing down, noticing our paint job, just absolutely very minor blemishes about the place, probably going to come out with a little bit of polish, which of course will get done for you. Okay, our back left hand wheel, ABS brakes, if you don't know much about ABS, it just simply means your wheels aren't going to lock up in an emergency braking scenario, heavily reducing your chance of skidding. Wraparound brake lights bring us to the rear of the vehicle, let's go through all these features and jump inside. Dolphin fin antenna. Uh, spoiler feature along the back, we do have demisting strips installed, privacy glass. Somewhere amongst your brake light here is a water jet that will partner up with the back windscreen wipe to clear up any dust come those, those times. Chrome badge is about the place, warranty we'll get to a little bit later, and four reverse parking sensors along the back. And we do have a, set, uh, sorry, a fifth and a sixth parking sensor in the very corners of the vehicle. Okay, let's open up your boot now. We do have a reverse parking camera in between your number plate and Audi logo. Here we go. Plenty of space in here, my friends, for all your luggage, your grocery, your knickknacks. As you can see, you've got a top pocket here, and then for any other larger cargo, you can place it completely underneath the net here. Now, if you want to disassemble that, it's very simple. You just unhook it from the four corners of the vehicle. I need to use my other hand here. So it's just a little clip there. Simple as. So while I've done that, let's open up the floor, now that I've done that. Uh, spare tire, tool kit, and a jack to be able to swap that over. It looks like you've got a first aid kit as well in the back here. And a awareness hazard lights here, okay? So open that up and that's just got the bright shiny lights to alert traffic that you're pulled over on the side of the road, okay? Okay, that'll do us a little bit of um, extra storage to the left and right hand sides here, a light to the left, and if you of course need more space, seats three, four and five will collapse forward. Okay, let's continue our tour along the right hand side, a little bit of scuffs that the car has copped along here, be mindful of that, a bit of polish should get the job done with those. Okay, our back right hand wheel, great condition, probably the best one so far. And it looks like we do have a push open fuel cap, okay? I love that, it's super convenient. Let's jump inside now. We're gonna show off our partial leather interior, power windows and a nice big sound system speaker. The interior is completely leather. Smells brilliant in there. Detailers done a great job. Carpet floor mats running along the feet. Fishnet storage on the back of the driver and passenger seats. A 12 volt power supply in the center there with some air conditioning, okay. 
Take you now into the front. Don't forget about your partial leather interior, all power windows, side mirror adjustments, all electronic. Let's jump inside, okay. So your right hand side here are all your light controls, the automatic lights, the level adjustment. Don't forget about that. Let's take you up to your steering wheel, power steering, leather steering wheel, really nice to the touch. To your right hand side here looks to be some radio controls, station controls, maybe a bit of menu. And then to the left hand side there, that's probably most likely a bit of menu controls. The left is more volume and voice controls. Okay, time for us now to go through your central features. Now this piece here, we'll get to that in just a moment. I'm going to take you now down to the features running along this panel here. A with a circle around it, off, this is your idle off feature, okay? So your engine is going to cut off at the traffic lights, okay, in order to save you a little bit of fuel. If you don't like that feature, simply press this button and disengage that feature. Next up, your parking assistant. Guys, once you've selected your parking space, take your hands off the wheel, put your gear stick into reverse, press this button, and the car is going to steer itself into the uh, parking bay. It's absolutely incredible. This is to turn off all your parking sensors if the beeping is driving you insane. Emergency lights, traction control. Now this button here is, is relating back to our top piece. Now check this out. I press it down and up pops your multimedia system. Okay, Hook your phone up into the system as well and access all the compatible apps. You see it does have its own maps system which is um, separate from having to hook up a phone but of course your phone will allow you your music streaming services, phone calls and text messaging. Okay, uh, down below, your, all your air conditioning controls, classic stuff there. 12 volt power supply to the left hand side, two drink holders, partial leather gear stick. This is the keypad to toggle through your multimedia system. And I've just gone ahead and made some movements there and that's activated the, uh, uh, the screen to pop up again. Anyway, you, this is I guess something that you're gonna have to experience when you come and take this for a test drive as well. Just, uh, it's kind of like a PlayStation controller, really. Anyway, let's continue along. Electric park brake. No more unsightly handle. All electronic now. Up and down to engage and disengage. Leather center console. Pop that up. You've got some storage there with a couple of USB inputs, I think. Alrighty, taking you now over to your glove box. Inside, we've got a few bits and pieces for you to read through should you choose, including the service history, but we'll go through that together. And inside your Audi wallet is, of course, the Audi A3 owner's manual. A couple of receipts about the place. And what's this? The, um, the navigation system owner's manual, okay, to help you learn all the features a part of this. All right, let's briefly go through this. There's only three services to show off to you guys. Uh, we've got two services happening in 2017, in April and what's that, October. And then, yep, they did skip a few years, guys, and then we've finished off here on the 22nd of April, 2021. Now, if you are looking for a bit of uh, bit more peace of mind here, I totally understand that, and I can tell you that all of our cars, before they come here for filming, go through a 100-point safety inspection checklist to make sure the car's up to a legal, moral, and safe standard. So, two thumbs up, you can rest assured. Continuing on, airbag probably, yep, right in front of us, airbag up here in the curtain. We've got a grab handle, a sun visor with a light and a mirror, a uh, manual anti-glare rear view. If someone has bright headlights here, just make this adjustment and that'll diminish any bright impact. Light controls up here, guys, and, and that's, that's pretty much it, okay? As I jump on out of here, I'm going to remind you of your leather seats, super comfortable, your carpet floor mats along the feet, and your door pockets for any extra storage. Time now for us to finish off our right hand side of the tour. We do have a little knock on the driver's door here. Continuing down, the paint job is predominantly, off, you know, 99%, absolutely fantastic. A couple of minor bit of dust about the place. Okay, cool guys. I've just prepared your hood here. My favorite feature, this piston that does all the lifting and the holding of the hood for me. I've got a soundproof board along the top to collect a lot of noise the engine will emit. And check out the engine bay itself, guys. Super presentable. N not a speck of dust upon that whatsoever. So getting that bird's eye view. And uh, that, that closes off our tour of the Audi A3, my friends. We hope you enjoyed. 
maybe had a bit of a giggle along the way. But most importantly, we hope you found this informative and that you've got a really good idea about uh, what the A3 could mean for you. Okay, three things as we wrap up. Number one, warranty is available on, our, on all of our cars and we heavily encourage you to get that to spare yourself any potential headaches and give yourself that peace of mind. Secondly, finance. If you're gonna finance the vehicle, we offer same day finance approval, which means our finance team is just gonna get through that process very efficiently and conveniently for you. Lastly, if you think the A3 might be for yourself, book in a test drive, take it down Leach Highway and back, see how you feel afterwards. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Have a wonderful day and we'll hear from you soon.